name is Tarun. I'm a science communicator with Science Eighty. I wanted to share a small story with you. This story is about school level uh, science education. In fact, what science education believes is that just like how human DNA is very diverse. I mean, two people uh, won't have the same DNA. I mean, the chances are very less. Similarly, we believe that uh, human brains, right? I mean, are very very diverse. There's a very less chance that two students will have the same wiring in their mind so what we do is we organize lectures we organize meetups in public spaces and we discuss different ideas with students and we try to make them pursue something they like because we believe the same stuff is not going to work with everyone let it be getting more marks in exams coming up with creative projects or clearing competitive exams i think there's only one way we can get there and that is to show them why we do something how did uh, you know so we learn something like you know did god come to newton's dream and say beta equation note kar lena physics aise chalti hai we ask questions like this give them a better perspective of why you're learning something in your textbook and we organize these discussions one of the most fantastic stories which we've encountered in recent times is uh three students of a school called uh, pbdav school in safelgoda thought of you know taking up a very innovative science project they came into one of our meetups and there we just casually told them that why don't you you know set up your own uh, school fm the circuit is not going to be very difficult uh, to our surprise they took it very seriously and then they formed a team of nine members they found out the circuit on the internet with absolutely no help they went on to the internet found out the circuit read the comments made sure it is something which worked then uh, they uh, took our help in actually finding out a store in hyderabad which sells those parts they purchased the parts on their own they found out those parts were not genuine they went into another store purchased the parts did the soldering on their own went to an electrician the electrician did not of their school and that guy did not understand how these parts work and then what they did was they said okay just uh, tell me will current pass through the circuit he was like no it will not pass because your soldering is bad and there will be external interference so what they did was they uh, took out the entire circuit and resoldered it again tested it it and that radio worked up within a radius of 10 feet so they kept on iterating they went and met a few professionals tried to take their advice and this journey to me is an inspiration for several more students because they did not pick up a science project which was given to them by their school teacher they did not pick up something which is directly lifted off uh from the internet of course they did get the circuit from the internet but they tried on their own they learned soldering on their own so i think these are the kind of amazing things which uh, our students are capable of doing provided you encourage them and you give them this kind of freedom with the help of which they can do this stuff so science session uh, happens to be hyderabad's only school media and what we would like to do is bring forward such stories to you i mean you know we would like to put these stories in front of many more school students and say hey look there's somebody here who's of your age group and is doing something awesome like this so why don't you try that too so that is what we would like to do so if you find any other school or a student who's coming up with some amazing stuff do write to us because that's what we'd like to do i mean publish some of the best stories of hyderabad so do follow us on facebook and youtube thank you for listening